Pro Football Weekly is previewing the Texans and Ravens, and these two teams played a while ago. At that point, it was still Matt Schaub at quarterback for the Texans. Joe Flacco played pretty well against a tough Texans defense. This week, he came out and basically said that he was, you know, he didn't like the way he was treated by the media, that when he wins, he never gets credit for it. Do you think that he can actually step up, answer the call, and have another good game? Well, I will say that he was hovering around 52, 53% passing earlier in the season. He's brought that up. You know, he's up in the 57 range now. And I think Cam Cameron's play calling himself. You know, at times they forgot about Ray Rice. They use Rice effectively now. He's going to have Anquan Bolden back in this game. So all the pieces seem to be in place for a pretty good game if that Texans defense isn't outstanding. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, definitely he showed some improvement as the season went on. I think the real challenge, of course, is going to be playing better in the postseason. His record is 4-3, and three, we know that, but the reason he's gotten some of this criticism is because he's brought it upon himself. I mean, he's got a 60-something passer rating, and once he steps up and has a big postseason outing, obviously the media should probably quiet down. I mean, it seems like for every really good, outstanding performance he's had when he beat the Steelers this year, there's another one to go that shows he just kind of lays, a, you know, lays an egg in, in a big game. Both these teams really set up the same, though. They're both run-first teams and really good defenses. Which one of the two do you think can do what they do better? Well, I mean, I like the Texans defense a great deal. You talked to Wade Phillips this week. I know he's done an outstanding job. But I think the Baltimore Ravens are just a little bit more sound in all three phases. I just think that they might be a little bit better prepared. They've already stopped Foster once. I know, uh, you know Johnson didn't play in that game. But I think they have a pretty good uh, chance to get a lead and then play from ahead and, and, and don't let the running game d dictate what happens. I'm going to go with the Texans here. It's probably crazy. I think they're the team that kind of has nothing to lose at this point, playing pretty well, as I just probably made pretty clear. I'm just not a big believer in Joe Flacco as of yet. I want to see him do it once, and then I'll kind of be on board. Um, I think both running games are probably going to have a hard time against really stout defenses, so it's going to be what quarterback can make more plays, and I guess what I'm saying right now is I think TJ Yates can make more plays hey. than Joe Flacco. So. There it is. I mean, I don't think it's the craziest thought. They don't ask him to do a lot. They've given Joe Flacco more of a, of a responsibility in this offense in recent years. So TJ Yates might have to have to do as much. Can he do enough to get a win? I don't think so. I think he's going to come up just short. I mean, the atmosphere in Baltimore should be pretty raucous, and I think they're just the best team left in the AFC right now. That's why I've got to go with them. Uh, you know, and, and if, if they can't control Bolden like they did last time, I mean, he really struggled with him. Ray Rice had over 160 yards from scrimmage. They're going to have no chance on Sunday. Yeah, I think the reason that I do have confidence in the Texans is because I think they've figured a lot of things out since that week six show, and they haven't allowed a 100-yard rusher since. Yep. That was Jonathan Joseph's worst game as a Texan. I don't expect him to struggle that way against Bolden again. So, again, I'm not sure why exactly. I'm going to go with the Texans in an upset. I expect a close game. I think Houston's going to find a way to pull it out. It would be certainly a, a big upset, it seems. I think people have already almost written in the Ravens yep. as the team that's going to maybe represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. That's a preview of the Ravens and Texans for the best coverage of the league. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.